Recently, after I spoke in the assembly, I did a bunch of small classroom visits. During my classroom visits, students asked me all kind of questions from, will you marry my mom? Did you ever do anything bad when you were a kid? One kid asked me, what do you do for a living? And I said, well, I speak. And other kids started laughing. I speak for this organization, the Choose Well Program, but also run a Christian nonprofit called Proclaim Ministries where people can have faith in life. I speak at churches, youth groups, camps, all kinds of things like that. And some of the kids in the audience had heard me speak at some Christian camps. Well, afterwards, a girl came up to me and said, Mr. Brown, you mentioned you're a Christian. And I said, yeah. And she began to cry. And she she said, I don't know why I'm crying. And I didn't know why she was crying either. But as we began to talk, come to find out this girl was without hope. She was confused about where she came from. She was confused about, is there really a God? And we had a really good conversation. And during that conversation, I told her, you know, most people have these three questions about life. Where did I come from? Why am I here? And where am I going? Those are questions I believe that Christianity has an answer for. And so I sent her to a website, hellomrbrown.com slash think. And on that page, there's a bunch of videos of me talking about Christianity, leading people through the gospel message, understanding you matter, not because of you're famous or not famous, because you've been made in the image of God. And, and to me, that young lady was looking for hope. She's looking for meaning and purpose and value. And that's what I want Proclaim Ministry to provide for people. So I want believers to understand that hope and live out that hope. Because as we begin to live out this hope, live out this purpose that we have in God, the world will see that. We will be able to proclaim Jesus Christ with our life and our lips to let people know about Jesus, to reach the lost like this young lady. And I tell you what, I have so many interactions with students in person, but many more online. And recently talking to students who think that they're non-binary, uh, transgender, and all these things because they're looking for something to identify with. They're looking for meaning, purpose, and value. And unfortunately, they find it in the wrong places. And I want to be there to help them find true hope and satisfaction. That hope that is imperishable does not fade away. And sometimes we think of the word hope. We think of, you know, I hope this happens. But I think a biblical hope is this. It is a confident expectation, a firm assurance that God will fulfill his promise. And what has God promised? He promises eternal life in his son, Jesus Christ. And that eternal life is not just a destiny. It's also a type of life. John 17, 3 says, and this is eternal life, that they know you the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Give hope. Give hope to these students, to these people who are online. My platform is online, and so many people are online getting all kinds of information. Some of it is wrong. I've heard of preachers talking about how Jesus was a racist, and millions of views. And we're trying to build a platform to reach people with the gospel, with truth, online. And I get a lot of comments from people who say, God met me through your message. Thank you so much. Now listen, it's not about me. It's about providing hope that's only found in Jesus Christ. So would you partner with us to give hope? You can do a one-time gift or monthly gift. Visit ProclaimMinistry.com slash give. There's a link also in the description. And through your giving, you can help that young lady and many others understand where they came from, why they're here, and where they're going. That answer is found in Jesus Christ.